Hey everyone, Jamie Starr, New World News Network. This was an article I came across real quick. It was on my uh, desktop when I opened up the computer, so I just figured I would share it because I thought it was kind of like uh, Ronda Rousey takes the uh, red pill and succumbs to biology. You had Ronda Rousey, who was on the Ellen DeGeneres show, and came out saying that she was thinking about killing herself after losing her UFC title match to Holly Holm. And at first I thought this was sensationalized, and I haven't watched the interview, but um, they said she got pretty choked up. She looks kind of choked up there. Normally she's very stern. And, you know, this is one of the things where you have the right sort of saying that women... It, when you know when feminists are saying, for example, that women need to be pushed and encouraged towards STEM fields and everything like that, on one aspect they're right, and it's women always have made a sort of better captives in a way. The they they you know you have these situations where these women are taken as children and they are made to like love their abuser, this sort of like Stockholm syndrome, and in that way you can push these women into these careers as long as there's constant reinforcement that, you know, you're a boss at the workplace, you're an independent woman, you're doing your thing, and then you have them getting to 30 and losing their minds because they haven't found a man, they don't have families, and they can't fight their biology. So it's one of these things that just does need constant propagandizing and everything like that because, and it's so insane to think that, you know, people are put in this sort of like adversarial idea where they think, you know, the worst thing you could do is have, want to have a family. Um, I think it's reflective of the sort of way we have all of these broken homes and, you know, so many children born single parents or uh, raised by single parents, you know, I get, think it's up to something crazy, like 70% in the in black community at least, and it's probably very close to that for society at large, I'd guess 60% maybe, and, and it's awful, and because all these people are from single parent homes, they can't, you know, fathom the idea of having a well-balanced relationship and family and the sacrifice that may take, but the ultimate reward of it when you can do it properly. Um, so back to Ronda Rousey. DeGeneres brought up the uh, crushing defeat after discussing Rousey's new Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition cover, asking the MMA fighter what was different about this particular fight. I don't make any excuse for anything like that. Rousey insisted going to call it destiny. It clearly broke up over my loss. Rousey became choked up as she candidly confessed in the medical room after the match. I was like down in the corner and I was like, what am I anymore if I'm not this, the champion? And, and was literally sitting there and thinking about killing myself like I'm nothing. What do I do anymore? No one gives a shit about me anymore without this. And this is her basically saying that without that constant reinforcement, you're the best, you're the greatest, you're killing it, you need to, you're on top of the world, like, I mean, and Rousey, you know, has it on a, a greater level than I feel most women, you know, because of her particular thing, but I see it, you know, I've dated a handful of women who have went into teaching, and I see it even with teachers, with the whole teachers are underappreciated, the sort of, you know, lusting for, of intellects, free school, you know, has, has, these, this sort of craziness over education um, and programming. It's where all of this Marxism stuff is coming from. To be honest, Razzie continued, I looked up and I saw my man Travis was standing there and I looked at him and was like, I need to have his babies. I need to stay alive. Really, that was it. And, you know, that was... The one thing that lifted Rousey out of the darkest point, probably, of her life. The idea of being a mother. So, uh, Ronda Rousey, you are amazing. And hopefully you inspire more women. Um, because, you know, again, there are a small amount of women that really are, you know, great at their career and everything like that. But there, there are far more that would be happier and more fulfilled pursuing what biology has programmed everyone to do. So, Razzie went on to admit she never told her th suicidal thoughts to anyone, but Brown, until now, check out the full video below. So, anyone interested in that, you can check out that video, but 
I just figured I would cover this.